hi guys welcome and this would be a short tutorial for Sagar embedded studio this is a simple introduction to Sagar embedded studio so once we open the Sagar embedded studio if you have already have uh, opened the project it's going to open the last uh, open files and uh, as you can see I opened this project before closing Sagar embedded studio so it, it automatically opens my last project so if we, we can see uh, here on the top uh, here we have the toolbar and uh, if you want to activate your Sagar embedded studio for Nautic uh, you just go into the tools and license manager and here uh, you if you have some problems you can diagnose the problems and manage the license and copy your license code to, into this place okay and you can remove the license from here you can activate by pasting your license here okay so we have uh, this uh, project explorer here and uh, uh, here you can see uh, the main files uh, are under these folders and uh, this one this is the name of our, of our main project and we can change it at any time we can change the uh, solutions name as well and uh, we can change the configuration to debug to uh, release and debug from here I'm going to add a new file here so let's see how to add a new file so first of all I click on the right click here and if uh, I want to add a new file I just right click here add a new file and uh, you can see this application folder is basically referring to the Sagar embedded studio folder if we browse that we just we can see it's the same path as this uh, Sagari embedded studio project so whatever file we are going to be adding it's going to be added in the you know, main Sagari embedded uh, path so for example I add a data file here for example I name it as a data and I select the extension C it's going to be added here and uh, this file it doesn't need uh, the path because this path is already added so we just add the file okay the next thing is I want to add the new folder and uh, to add a new uh, folder uh, we, uh, which is uh, outside of the project folders like uh, it's not here and I want to add a new folder uh, we f first we have to add that path uh, to the project configuration file so uh, to do that for example let me start from here I am in the main blinky place and uh, I want to add a new directory so where a new folder where I will place my new files and I want to add that folder so I will name it as uh, my data and uh, uh, here I'm going to create some new files and I'm going to copy this path okay so to include this path uh, we have to go to the project click on the, this project not here not on the solution click on the project and right click go to options and in the options change the configuration from debugger release to common configuration so common configuration basically affects both of the configuration that is release and debug so whatever we change it changes for both okay so we go in the preprocessors we go in the include directories click on this browser button and uh, here we see we have some paths so we put we paste our path here for the folder and uh, make sure you put the front slash and not the backslash in the project path sorry in the path for your new files okay it's set it's good to go you can add uh, as many paths here as you want and uh, click OK OK right now this uh, this path is added uh, to the project folder so uh, now if I try to use that folder I right click and uh, or I can create a new folder and uh, I give it some name so this folder that we added we, we have to give it uh, go to the same path 
and we select this folder and we just give it a name for example I want to give it a name as uh, uh, okay well, let me give it the same name data okay so right now this folder is connected with this so whatever we add in this folder is going to be read by this so right now you can see we have added the folder add the new files in the folder we just go in the folder and uh, you add the files here because this path is already added to the project folders if we go to the project and uh, we go open solution in editor and you can see uh, here the is the project file and you can just change the, the name directly from here the solution name and the project name and it's going to change directly from here and uh, so if you have uh, your target device connected let me connect my device so if you uh, so once uh, we are here in the main uh, file and uh, we, we have finished our code we just go to the build and build the uh, this project and uh, it's compiled now and we need to upload this code to our device we just go to the target then connect jlink uh, make sure your jlink is connected to an rf device and it's uh, it's connected now now we go to erase all to erase the device and uh, now we will uh, just download this uh, compiled code into the device so we just click on this one download and uh, it's compiled and uh, it's downloaded and uh, that's that's all that's it for uh, compiling and we also have uh, some uh, hotkeys for this as well to compile the code we directly press F7 uh, to compile it to build it and uh, to connect with the device we press control plus T and you, you can see here and then we press C to connect now we are connected with the device again we press the hotkeys control plus T and uh, to press K to erase the device so you can see the device is er erased and if you press Control plus T and L, it will download the compiled code uh, into the mi microcontroller. And uh, if you want to change the target output, if you want to see the console, you can go in this and you can see the console's output here. And if you want to see the tasks, you, you can just see it here. And uh, that's it for now. Uh, and uh, this is the short introduction to Sagar Embedded Studio how to compile and uh, once it's uh, downloaded you can start debugging by just pressing F5 or just go to debug and click on this one and it's uh, ready to be debugged and you can see the registers here and uh, if you click on the play now it's running and uh, you can pause it and you can see all this assembly code here and uh, also you can stop it you can reset the device you can stop it reset and this is to step into a function and step out step over and we have different types of debugging features here as well so it's really good to start with this and uh, I hope so this short introduction to Sagar Embedded Studio would be helpful enough to get started with our main projects so see you in the next video